How's it going everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Port Vale Youth Academy Legends career mode here on FIFA 19. We actually don't have any player upgrades for this episode so uh, that's a first in a long time. Um, and yeah, I suppose let's just uh, let's go to the calendar and see who we're playing. We're playing Watford again. We played them in the last episode, we're now playing them at home so I'm definitely playing that. We've got the FA Cup replay against Hull which I'm not going to play. Cardiff I'm going to play. In terms of the other game, I don't know yet. Middlesbrough are the highest placed out of these four. Uh, so I might play them, but we'll see. We're also in the transfer window, so things could happen. This might be a long one. I think this is the least amount of players I've had in my youth squad for a while. I've just done a little bit of a clear out just to the players that just will not get anywhere. And I've been left with Fang Ren, Bang Wang, and Run Ming Liang. That, that's it. Three Chinese people just ready to get called up. I might call them up and loan them out. Or maybe not actually. I think I'll wait. Well, I can't call up Run Ming Liang anyway because he's 15. So here we go then. Watford at home. It's a big, big game. Massive game in fact. Um, only one change. And I'm going to give Arsene Golubev his debut on the right hand side. Will Hill's not been performing much lately, so I'm trying to I'm trying out all of the other right wingers I have, and I have quite a few of them, which is why there's always someone different playing there every single game. But anyway, Watford at home, let's go. This is also probably the only game that Dylan Dylan will feature in in this month because of because for loan glitching reasons. I'm obviously with it being the transfer window, I'm going to be try keep on trying to loan glitch him. So uh, yeah, this is probably the only game you'll see him in in this episode. As Abu Hamed gives it to Hugh Harris. Oh my god, we nearly got off to an absolute flyer. It's Rome uh, Romeo. <laughs> because his name says Alpha, it's Semedo. His name says Alpha, so I just called him Flipping Romeo, didn't I? What is. <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. Oh, what a save. What a save for Tunan. That was big. Big save. Great ball in from whoever that was. Just There's just no one there to meet him at all. It feels like all of my players are just out of position. All the time. It feels like one of them times where all my players just suddenly feel slow and sluggish and horrible. I get that sometimes, but it's just... Why now? When, when I'm already on a bad run of form as it is, why now do my players feel even worse than they were? Soro, it's through to Carranza, and this time Watford have taken the lead. Oh my god, I just, these guys just will not give me a break, will they? They're just, re, they're just relentless. They just keep on coming, and in the end, they keep on scoring. It's one all, it's one all, one nil to Watford. Win that. Oh, he's won it as well, he's only five foot five, got a bet. Go on, lad. Go on. Good ball. What a ball. Dylan, Dylan. Made by Arsene Golubev on his debut. Where is he? Yes. Oh, my God. Look at the size difference. <laughs> Golubev is tiny. <laughs> Made by Arsene Golubev. Great cross. What a cross that is. And Dylan, Dylan doing what he does best. One all. Dylan, Dylan. Oh, Pablo there went diving in. And it looks like this could... This could be a draw in the end. We could end up drawing this or we could end up losing. I don't see us winning it now unless we can get this attack going. Wilson's running. Wilson inside to Ratchet. I don't know what he's doing there, but Ratchet. Oh, come on, please. If he scores. Oh, Richardson. No. Oh, and that's the end of the game as well. Oh, it's a shame. But at least it's not a loss. We haven't won in about five games. Well, actually, I tell a lie. Of course we have. We've won simulated games, but in terms of playing, I haven't won in about five games now. So it's it's getting a bit annoying. But at least, I mean, at the moment, the simulated games are helping us out. That's not really how I want it to work. I want to get promoted on my off my own back rather than the computers. But at, that, at the moment, it's, it's the CPU that's doing it for me. One all. Okay, now all of my players are just coming back from loan. Gerdesic, Baker... Lee, Valentich, Roberts, Visser, and Rodriguez are all back from loan. Ah, right, okay then. I didn't realise I sent that many out last January. Just for the record, because of uh, Ken Ken's upgrades, um, 
at the start of the season. There is Telmo Rodriguez wearing his number 63. I did the rest of the upgrades whilst he was out on loan. Uh, but there he is with his 63. So after all those players coming back from loan, I've updated my loan list and my transfer list. Um, Oli Alexander, Miroslav Valentic and Pavel Gerbisic are now on the transfer list. These two are... The reason I've transfer listed them is, is, instead of loan listed them this time is because they're just not going to play for us ever. Unless they somehow get extremely good in a few years. So the only way they're going to get extremely good in a few years is if I sell them <laughs> and then bring them back in a few years. And same with Aldi Alexander, he just never plays. He couldn't even get a loan out in the summer transfer window, so I'm going to sell him. And this is the loan list. Sam Visser and Sean Bacon will be going back out on loan, as will Isaac Lee. Um, Sam Visser especially, these two, but Sam Visser especially, has become much more of an exciting prospect, and I don't mean the, the squad role, than I thought he would. He's now 74 rated at 18 years old and worth 10 million and he's not played a single game for us he's just been out on loan Sean Baker's the same 19 years old 72 so not quite as good but still pretty decent he's showing great potential he's an exciting prospect Isaac Lee um, I want to keep uh, because of just just because really but I'm still gonna loan him out and then Sinan Benici, Chiyung Wu and Kang Dong are all on there for the first time. Oh, and also on the transfer list is Emidio Vasquez. He's just not playing. Simple as that. So, again, he might come back, who knows, but um, we'll see. But for now, he's on the transfer list and probably leaving. But like I've said before, any player that leaves us always has a chance of coming back, as you'll see at the end of the season with the Youth Academy Rewind. So here we go then, second year in a row, Hull City away, FA Cup third round replay. Do we win this time? No, we don't. Good, really, because I, I was sick last year of just going through every round of the FA Cup and having to play a replay every time, so now we can just fully focus on getting promoted to the Premier League and worry about the FA Cup next season. And now the next game is Ipswich away from home. Again, simulated. Do we win this one? Yes, we do. Archie Bingham and Mehdi Abu Hamed with the goals. Nice. Next game we play is Cardiff. I don't know if it's at home or away, but I'm playing that game because Cardiff are in the playoffs. Yeah, they're sixth. So it's quite a bit. It, it, it's a big ish game. It's not massive, but it's. Um, it's certainly. Um, it's certainly big enough because they are a very, very good team. Another day, another new person on the right wing. This time, it's Sem Visser. And uh, also Archie Bingham's up front instead of Dylan Dylan. So let's go. Nunes to whip it in. Inacio underneath it. And that was extremely close from the Brazilian. That was lucky. That was, that was just crap. What is going on with my players? It's like the game is Cody just to... Make sure that we go through a bad patch. Because my god, this is a bad patch. All of my players just suddenly cannot do a thing. I mean, what is that? What is that? Nunes. Where is Bingham? Where is Bingham? You might not even need Bingham. Have a crack. Or not. Hugh Harris. What is going on? Why can't I just have a normal shot at goal? Why does it always have to be some sort of just crap? Oh, they're going to score as well. Oh, if it wasn't for Tunan. Oh, Reeds then in the middle just had a free header. Because guess what? Everyone was out of flipping position. Look at my passing accuracy. I don't think I've ever seen it so bad. Right, that's not the pass I wanted to make, but it's worked anyway. Archie Bingham with the pace. He's got, he hasn't really got anywhere to go. He had nowhere to go there, he was just being forced out, and I had to have a shot, and he took forever to do that. Alright, Nunes to whip it in. Surely we're going to get that. No, we're not. And it's going to fall straight to a Cardiff player. The only one there. And he's got Pasky Orm, who has just been absolutely awful through this bad run. Blondo, well played. But wait, the pass again. The pass. The pass is letting us down every time. Right, where's this ball going to go? Okay, that was a good pass. Where's this one going to go? Okay, it's actually gone to the feet of our player. 
Abu Hamed has a shot. It was actually a proper shot as well. Abu Hamed. Oh my god. It's just like you take the perfect amount of time so the defender can get back. Bingham. Look, again. Defender just got back as soon as I tapped the button. It's like the the shoot button doesn't make them shoot. It mag mag magnets the defenders to the striker. It's ridiculous. And now Cardi for through. And I'm pissed off. And on to Harvey Hall. Oh my god, that run from Richardson. Oh, please. please. Uh-oh, retard alert. I'm so done. I'm so flipping. Oh my god, look at all the space over on that side. It's gone to Abu Hamid. Are you flipping? Are you... Of all the people it could have gone to, it went to the smallest guy on my team who had a massive FF defender on him. All of, all, all of the... All my other attackers had no one on them and a clear run through. But no, it went to the smallest one and he had a flipping mass off defender on him. Piss off, you stupid game. Now Cardiff have just hit the bar. How am I not losing this game? This game is just so perfectly poised for me to lose it. It's just so perfectly poised for me to lose it. Everything that is happening is just leading to me losing this game in the 90th minute. Here we go. Ready? See? And I've lost it in the 90th minute. Oh, I'm so done with this game. Get me off this. Get me off this game. Get me off this game. I've had enough of this game. This entire team that's played in this game, although we nearly scored that somehow, is getting dropped. None of these players are playing in the next game. I don't even care. Tuning's up. Do you want to win that? Oh, wait. No, we can't even do that. I don't even care anymore, I have a volley, I don't care. Yeah, cool, it's hit the top of the net. And it's full time and Cardiff have won one nil. I hate this game so flipping much. You wanted ruthless management? There's your ruthless management. Eleven changes to the team. Eleven changes. And after this game, I'm done. Let's go. I'm at the point now where I just want to get off the game. But I need to get a third game into this episode. So I'm just playing it now so I can get off the game for a bit longer than I could have done. Ski Harvey down for Wilson. Dylan Dylan's in the middle. Here we go. Ugh. See, I'm even having to play Dylan Dylan. He's not even a, not he's not even had a single loan offer coming for him, Dylan Dylan, which is even more frustrating. Because I'm trying to glitch this guy. I'm trying to make this guy better than he can be. And the, the game is just not letting me even do that, which is ridiculous. Will Hill, here we go. Use the pace. I know you can't finish, but you know what? Cut inside and curl it. And that was bloody awful. Skiov is out of position now, and Tonelli's just running through. It's gone through White's legs. And now it's back with them again. It's Patterson to Chapman to Asamba Longa. All of my players are out of position. Here is Little to Zanelli. Zanelli into the box, and Harky Cleet is right. Harvey Hall chests it on. Dylan Dylan's in space. Will Hill is not going to find him with a ball like that. Some interesting control there from Harkey. Oh yeah, some interesting passing as well there from Harkey. Can I ask why my left winger is here? What is the... I'm trying to just show off something game. You're not even letting me do that. Harvey Hall. Wang Wang. Harvey Hall. Oh, give me a break. Wang Wang. Okay, that was better. Richardson out towards Harkey, but that pass was bloody awful. What has happened to my players, man? They're all just crap now. They're all League 2 players again. It's Dylan Dylan. Okay. 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 Oh my god, that actually nearly snuck in. Oh, imagine if he'd have scored that. That would have actually been epic. Oh, Richardson. Richardson has been absolute garbage. We call it rubbish. Oh, for God. Alright, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe. And until next time, peace. It's not like I'm recording this straight after the last episode or anything. I've not played on FIFA since Sunday. It's Thursday now. Like, I've been on holiday and everything. <laughs> and I've come back and FIFA's still crap. Oh, that's nice. Yes. No! Harvey Hall!
Come on, man! You could have hit that anywhere in the goal and you hit it straight at the flipping goalkeeper. Oh, God. That's a great ball from Harkey. Right, this could actually be a chance. Yes! Mehdi Abu Hamid! Thank you! Oh, that's a massive sigh of relief. Oh, I'm suddenly not quite teetering over the edge now. I'm just on the edge. It's momentum on our side now. Oh my god. No! Flipping Will Hill was out. He probably wouldn't have finished it off. But still, Will Hill was out there free. Oh no, you don't. No, you flipping don't. Alfie Harris will just come and knock you out. Oh, please. 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 No! No! Why, ref? Oh, you're a bastard. Before we have two more games to simulate, look at how close it is now at the top. We're suddenly level on points with second. We're only one point ahead of Watford in third. Only three points ahead of Bristol City in fourth. We just can't, we can't catch a break right now. I haven't won in a played game for God knows how long. So we, we played that one. We played that one, so there's two. We played that one, so that's three. What else did we play? Uh, that one, four. That one, five. That one, six. And then... Uh, oh, which ones did we play here? Okay, we didn't play Ipswich, did we? So we drew that one. We lost that one, so that's eight. So we haven't won. In the last eight games that I've played, I haven't won. Oh my god. Oh dear. Sean Duffy, our former goalkeeper, is wanted by Leicester. That's a, that's a good one, actually. Pavel Gerbisic is actually going to be leaving the club and going off to Al Nasser in uh, Saudi Arabia. So yeah, good luck to him. Hopefully we can see him in a few years and he is very, very good. Wait, what? Chi Young Woo's actually not gone. I flip in, I even put him on the, I did the transfer list thing and everything. And he's still not gone. Wow, okay then. Unless, unless the transfer list glitch doesn't work now because of the update. Wow, okay then. I, I hope it still works, because if it doesn't, we're going to have a seriously big problem with loans and loan glitching. Uh, Portsmouth at home. 3-1 win. Nice. Burn, Dylan, Dylan and Abu Hamid getting the goals. Lovely. Right. Back on track to be winning the league. Nottingham Forest drew, Watford lost. <laughs> okay. Back to being the worst top six again. Right, so Kang Dong's had a loan offer coming for him, and uh, uh, um, um, I remember one of the patch notes now saying that um, players will actually now consider the fact they're loan listed um, as to going out on loan. Because obviously before, with them not go, yes, yes, right. Hopefully this means that for every loan you do, you don't have to transfer list the player anymore. You just have to leave them on the loan list. Because obviously, um, what's it didn't go out on loan, did he? Um, Chi Young Woo, after putting him on the transfer list, doing the old glitch, didn't work. But it said that now players are on the loan list. Now consider the fact they're on the fact that they're on the loan list. Uh, but yeah, at least it was Oxford that came in for Benici, which is a bit more realistic considering they are an English club. That's going to be the end of this episode, like the, uh, oh my god, the next game. Look at the next game, we've got Forest at home. Uh, at home? I don't know, either way, we've got Forest in the next game, that's bad. But yeah guys, if you enjoyed me raging, make sure to, are you for real? As if this episode could go any worse. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to smash that like button down below, subscribe if you want to see more. And of course hit that little bell next to the big red subscribe button. You'll get a notification every time that I upload. Guys, until next time, thanks so much for watching. Peace. I'm out. I'm so done with this game.